Fox, I feel you. I'm, I'm a support main too. I, if I can, if I feel a support can get it, I'll give it to him hands down. Just because I'm a support player and I have a soft spot in my heart for supports, because we never get, we never get it. Wizard is my grill. <laughs> yeah, Neon, I was, I was in your voice comms for scrims yesterday. I just, I wasn't talking because I don't want to talk during your scrim. Hashtag Vexy. <laughs> Wait, did Leo have more kills than uh, Malzar? Did Malzar only have one kill? Feels bad. Think we'll see a Blitzcrank at all this season, Ham? Are you still there? I am. Oh god. Bitcoin's in their chat. Does that mean we oh we get to see Bitcoin? Hold on. Wait, and Adobo? Oh boy, what's going on? <laughs> you ready for a fun and exciting game, Ham? Yeah. Yeah, give me a minute. Yeah, you're good. Alright, let me get out of this, that way they can get in position. Jesus Christ, these DCs. Okay. They all want that. We get Bitcoin in the top lane. <laughs> oh god. This is literally a team of full subs. I think this is pretty much every sub they can pull right now, except for like if Danny was here. I think that's the only other sub they can pull. Yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about this.
God dang it. All right. Jesus. Oh, yeah, I forgot Danny did get banned. <laughs> Who got banned? Uh, Dirty Dan? <laughs> yeah. Jesus. <laughs> He was being super toxic, and I think he was, uh, as Vex he told does. a riot em Oh? I said, as Vex does. Well, he thought it'd be a good idea to be toxic to a riot employee. Solid. Was not a good idea, Ham. No, that, yeah. Was it Perma? <laughs> no, no, no. Too weak. Okay. He just told him, like, sit down and go home or, or something. <laughs> and some other words. I'll repeat that one on streams. Alright, so I absolutely have no idea what in the world's going on in this game. No, neither do I. I feel like Vex is going to lose this. Yeah, no, if, if I if I could... I had to put money down on this game, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give it to Olympic. Especially with how close last game was. Like... Yeah. Good jinx, man. I think that's a fair man. Yeah, I think it's definitely a good ban. A uh, very strong character. Uh, one of the strongest in our league so far, so take it out for sure. Ban Darius against Bitcoin. I, I would be willing to say that I think the only thing that you should ever throw a ban at Bitcoin with is probably the Warwick. Yeah. I, I, I mean, maybe top. he pulls it out top. I DC'd though, so I don't know what's actually happening. Oh, fun. Yeah. Uh, Riven ban. Okay. I'm, I'm not going to be able to rejoin the, the pick ban, so I'm just going to leave here on the DC screen, so you'll have to guide us through it. Okay. All right. Uh, Rakan ban towards Faithful. Okay. And, um... Yeah, I don't, I don't know what the last ban is yet. Oh, wait, Ham, we could hop in a private call and I can just screen share you. Let's try that. Let me get... Yeah, I gotta, I gotta set up the stream for this. You know when you're good. I mean, you can start doing it and then I'll, I'll set it up around that. Oh, hey, it's back, actually. I'm back. Never mind. Good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It didn't show the bans that happened, but I'm back. <laughs> there were bans there, I swear, guys. LeBlanc was the last ban. Oh, she showed up in the middle for me. Oh. Okay. <laughs> yep. God, I'm still DCing here and there. Did they lock in the gin? They did. Okay. Jin's locked. locked. In, Jin. There we go. I see it now. That's, I really wish I was the one having problems, being that I'm not the one streaming. Dobo. <laughs> Dobo with the Trist hover. I can get down with that hover. Um, Trundle pick up for Dobo in the jungle. 
That's a good pick. Possibly the Kaiser for Master Fire. Possibly. I think that would be an all right choice. Uh, I mm -hmm. think Kaiser's in a good spot. Lots of damage there. I don't think she's ever been in a bad spot since she's been released. First patch, yeah. Right. And then they like than that, everything about her. Yeah. Other than that, not really. Yeah. She's probably tied for most versatile lady carrying the game. I'd say her and Varys are, are the two most versatile, yeah. so. Being that Varys can go three different builds, yeah. Yeah. So. I mean, she arguably can too. She has AP on hit, uh, AP on hit, and just straight up on hit, and then like crit on hit. It's all on hit based, but yeah, <laughs> still fairly different varieties of it. Mundo gonna be coupled in with it. I do typically like seeing some more crowd control heavy champions with a Kaiza, um, just to synergize with her passive. But this should yeah. still be good. It's going to be banned away from Bunny. This will probably end up being a brand mid. We saw Volter play brand support last week, so that's why I assume it will be for him in the mid lane. For Volter? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's what he was, he was playing that last week, correct? I believe so, yeah. We have banned Twitch Bitcoin. I, I think they think that's Doodle. <laughs> they might. <laughs> unless they think it's unless it's the exact same uh, picks that he plays in the top lane, but I, I, just, I just don't think Bitcoin plays top. I don't think so. They might they might not have looked at who's playing. I could see I could see Bitcoin playing Orn. You missed that all. Uh, yeah, he could definitely be an Orn. What are Brand's abilities? Why would I tell you Brand's abilities? Like his ability names? You know, Pillar of Fire. Combustion, I think, is one of them. His, his alt? <laughs> I don't know what his alt is. Something another? I, I think, I don't know. Bouncing Ball of Burning... Blaze? Bouncing Ball of Burning Hell? <laughs> Fiery Inferno. Maokai gonna be picked up for Bitcoin. Ah, uh, no, no. See, that's for Fox. That would be interesting. And I wouldn't like that. Maokai into a Mundo. That's gonna be a boring lane. It's, that's... No one should be dying up there, uh, no. in theory. Mundo does have a little bit of early pressure. Um, and probably yeah. wins the 1v1s, but... Definitely not, like, a wild advantage you. for either person so if someone's dying up there then somebody's playing something terribly wrong right Some, something happened yeah alice are gonna be coupled alistar. with the kaiser there's the cc i was wanting to see i like see? that CC? i like that lane a lot see cc see there is cc Hey, thanks for the bits there, Neon. How do you just, like, randomly get, like, small amounts of bits? Do, do you, like, generate bits randomly, Neon? Like, I'm actually curious. Because there is the other day where you're just like, oh, I gotta wait for more bits. I'm like, I don't know how this works. Like, it seems like you just get, like, small sums of bits and just toss them at us. Tom Kench for Faithful. There we go. That's what we expect to see. You watch videos? Can you watch, like little ads and you get bits do you seriously do that i'm going for faithful fox be expected um but yeah, I, didn't, I didn't know that was a thing <laughs> that's hilarious well thanks for giving us uh, the money that you're earning all right oh you know i forgot to set up the mobile Linux overlay for this set Who should we follow? There we go. We got Fox up in here. Oh, hey, look, it's Doodle. Doodle, where the heck are you? 
Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Like, it's interesting because that last game was really close. So I, I mm -hmm. unless like all of X had to leave, I don't know why they would swap out like this. All right, what are you thinking for a bet? Does Adobo do more than 4K damage? <laughs> um, Probably not. <laughs> Does less. Um, oh, boy. Yeah, nothing champion-specific that seems really fun. Oh, boy. Chat, you got anything for us? Probably not. They didn't last time. I guess they did. It just took them a while. We could do uh, mm. over five. That could be a good one. We haven't done a CS per minute one, have we? Sure. I don't think eight, but eight point five. No, I I think eight is too high. Cause that's like a really good game, right? Oh, 10's a good game. What are you thinking, seven? Yeah. I feel like someone, someone should be able to have that. Somebody should. We'll see. Let's hope, let's hope it's the supports getting that number. <laughs> that would be an issue. <laughs> Not if you combine them. That's more possible. I still don't think it is possible, but it's more possible. Well, seven should be a pretty one to bet on over. It's close. I mean, both both Master and King D average about eight CS per minute so far. So, like, over over is a reasonable bet, but, I mean, you just never know. Really depends on how the game plays out. Yeah. Because I, I wouldn't want to set the bar at their baseline, because that's, like, then... It's weird, but I think I think seven's a regional ground point. Should you do thirteen? Mm hmm. <laughs> totally. That's possible, right? Um, probably. Very hard, but probably. A super late game would be like a fifty, sixty minute game. Who was it that had like 300 and something CS at like 20 minutes? I don't know. In the LCS. I think that was on a, a funnel game. Oh, it was before like before all that garbage. I think Froggen did it. Oh, it might have. Yeah, probably Froggen just sitting there wave clearing the Nibia. Just like, oh, there, there. my champion requires skill. <laughs> Dude, that's a lot of CS, dang it. No, it, it is. It's like missing none. And getting it's, it's uh, missing none, but also like my team gives me literally everything. Huzzah! Right. Welcome to Summoner's they Rift. call me Reckless, or Froggen, or Uzi. Oh, Uzi! Yeah. I kind of hope he wins Worlds. I think it'd be interesting. And I hope SKT wins Worlds. Please no. I think I think Tall's been working his butt off. I think he deserves this. Kiss my butt. Yeah, that ain't gonna win. <laughs> Give me a freak, a baby. They just gotta bring Bengi back. That's what I'm saying. Man's a monster. He's pretty good. 
I'm gonna lose me some bangy. <sighs> Any idea what the pause is for? I have no clue since I mute chats in game. Mm. Someone said something about a baby. Hmm. I don't think it was a baby being born, though, so that's... I would hope not. Bad time for that. Fox was helping his baby. He's something. got a kid? I, I, I don't know. It's hard to believe. He doesn't sound old enough to have a kid. Yeah. Is Fox old enough to have a kid? I have no clue. He might be. But anyways. Going back into it. Standard five point. Want to see more teams start trying to punish this. It's standard for a reason, Ham. <laughs> it's standard in games like this for a reason. <laughs> Definitely punishable. I did get a ward onto the Raptors, at least. Yeah, that'll be a really useful ward for them to have. The knowledge if he's going up there, they do have the river warded as well, so they'll they'll know where Trundle's going. Yeah. Should be knowledgeable of that. It looks like Raided and Trundle should be meeting each other in the river for the scuttle. Brand does have lane priority, which puts him in a good spot now. Dobo with the press attack doing a lot of damage. Probably gonna force a flash pillar. Flame comes out and gets that done. Yeah, he was half in the flash there. If he, if he didn't flash, he was probably getting stunned up and killed. Yeah. So, good job at forcing that out. For the side of Vex. And Brand's such an annoying champion to lane against, honestly. Whether it's mid or support. Just super annoying. Yeah. It's it's not fun at all. I'd say probably more annoying at support, because you have to worry about like two people. So he's just like, where is he going to go? Where is he going to go? Oh, he, he went to me. That's That's wonderful. He doesn't, he doesn't have to worry about CSing, or he can literally just use all of, all of his abilities for poking. Yeah. And I mean, hell, they tried to buff his abilities, said he could CS with them and, like, get mana back, but still not really played mid lane consistently. Oh. I think it's just because, like, his damage is good and everything, but, like, I, I think, again, there's, there's other champions that can do that better. Right. Especially because, like, right. his damage doesn't scale incredibly well. Right. He's got a lot of base, because he's got a lot of, like, you know, percent max health. Right. But Yeah, percent max health damage, base damage, pretty good. Yeah. In the mid lane, you're going to be doing the deeps, but you probably get more deeps off with another pick. Raided right our love. Getting invaded on looking like Prism here this game. Having a rough time. Everybody's just up in his jungle. No smite, though, from a double. Means he's gonna have to run. Does get hit by the charm, taking a lot of damage. Flashes away. The ignite's burning down. He should fall. One more auto attack's gonna do it. Funny with the kill there. Bitcoin in a bit of a rough spot. He should be falling pretty soon as well. Cleaver's gonna land as the charm coming up next. It does go, and that's two kills over for Olympic. That's oh, a big early game. And the bot lane copy deck doesn't have flash. Down. He falls down. Oh, unfortunate. Fox got that kill. Yeah. Kills all over the board. Yep, now Master Fire might be in a bit of a rough spot. The Devourer's been used. There's no Deadly Flourish, though. King D wants this. Might be able to tank it. All he needs is another auto attacker, too. He's going to flash forward. Gets the fourth shot. And he's going to be trading his life. No, the heal. Oh, the heal. Puts him in a good position. Honestly, Oof, just God. recall. Yeah, yeah, don't even, yep. don't even shove it oh, away. Oh, come on. Okay. Okay, now recall, please. Thank you. Okay. Uh, scary situation. Yeah, he he walked under tower pretty far to get that last auto. 
Yeah. I think he was in range for quite some time. He was. He definitely was. <laughs> Not really sure what took him so long, but still well executed dive. Um, yeah. Botling getting their advantage, making up for the rest of the map, letting them down. This is, I think, the lane that they're kind of relying on to get ahead. I don't know how much they're relying on Bitcoin or Adobo to do a whole heck of a lot in their respected areas. I think that's kind of nice about Brandon, like Malzar, is it, it, like, you don't need to be crazy mechanical at him. You can kind of just throw your ult. Yeah, like, they're fairly simple. I do a thing. I do a thing, I do damage, I lock you down and call her good. Yeah. Yeah, and if okay. you've, like, main support and you've played some of these champions down bot, yeah. probably not a bad idea to try and pull him up. Because, again, he's not the worst mid lane character. He can definitely be super annoying, but better than, like, not being comfortable on something like Corky or Ari and, like, trying yeah. to pull it out randomly. There's... There there's worse picks in the mid lane too right now. Like yeah. Like I wouldn't want to see him play Taric mid. Right. Or jungle. Or jungle. Again. Please never play jungle again. Or if you do, just don't play Taric. As King D said, it's the semis all over again. <laughs> So far, I'd say they're doing better than in the semis already, though. Yeah, they're definitely doing okay. They're up about 100 gold. Nothing too wow. crazy. They're not playing in a disappointing way. I'll give them that. Gonna be able to pick up a pretty early dragon for them as well. Brand, very good at taking things. Mm -hmm. So is Tom Kench with his passive, so... Kench can tank him up if you pleases. Grundle, pretty healthy clear on it as well. So they're happy with that ocean, I'm sure. A bit more sustained in the laning phase. Always yeah. nice to have an early ocean. Ooh, this might be Elser in a pretty rough spot. Nice headbutt. Gonna get the Tom Kench away from him. The coin's doing pretty well up here. Um one thing he's doing that I kinda want him to stop is He's spamming his uh, saplings on cooldown. Yeah. And they're actually, like, his most expensive spell. They're really expensive now. Really they expensive. Um, which means that if you're throwing them in the bush as soon as it disappears, just, like, as a trap, you're going to be running out of mana real fast. He's gotten healing real low, but in the end, his actual map advantage out of it is pretty poor. Mm. We are going to see Nocturne ganking bot, though. His ult's coming out. Devour onto the gin should help him escape. Thick skin not going to be able to be used as the knockup from Copycat comes through. And a nice gank there from Rated R Love. Yeah, good gank. Go on to the Tom Kench. There? Normally, I'm not happy with teams or supports, I should say, using their thick skin early at all. But in that situation, I would actually say to, because you know you're going to get CC'd by the Alistar. Yeah. You're probably not going to be able to use it. So just throw it at about half HP. Yeah. Um, if you just can't, so you can at least get it. If you can't use it in the future, you might as well throw it out at some point in general. Rated our love. Coming back, bottom again. Jin gets devoured, though. Tom Kench barely here in time, but Brand finds his way into the back. That's a massive three man ult oh on top of the pillar. God. They're getting real low. He's going to go down. There is a flash for the Alistar, but that is still two kills over to Vex. Catch that was a huge Brand roll. A little roll. aggressive bunny in Ooh, the pit, bunny. doing a lot of damage over to a double yeah, subjugation. Double. Is out. Might actually see if we get the kill, but it would be a little risky. He's going to go for it. Force the flash. He does not have any more stacks of his ult. But Mundo's down, even with the Devour. Brand's not here either. Is he going to go for it? He's not even looking for the kill. A little scared of what this Mundo can do. They force the flash out of him as well. Oh, my God. Ooh. Ooh. A close one. Bit dangerous. Bit dangerous. Just a tad bit. When you spit out enemy champions, it should do damage, like the AoE, like it does with minions. Jeez. Mm, <laughs> but the, the AoE damage should be based off the max health of the person that you're spitting. 
Right, right. So if you spit out like a, a full HP, you know, Cho'Gath or something, it's gonna yeah. do like a thousand and something yeah. damage. Yeah, yeah. I agree. <laughs> Grab Baron, spit it out. Just three thousand. It seems fair and balanced to me. Mm -hmm. We should obviously be able to consume like all camps, any camp. Yeah, like the whole camp. Yeah, yeah, At yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so like raptor or uh, so like wolves and raptors and stuff. You just gulp them all. Yeah. In fact, what they should do is they should actually just make his devour like an active like move, and it just opens his mouth, and whenever he walks into a champion, he just devours them, and he can jump, fit jump, jump. He, he can fit as many people as he wants, and he it stays open for like five seconds. What about like a reverse Janna halt? As opposed to like blowing away how like Galio's alt used to, but mm. if they touch him, he consumes them. He consumes them? Mm. Yeah. I'd be down for that. Like legitimately though, that sounds like a really fun ability. You need like 3k movement speed to get out of it, because it's just that strong of a pull. <laughs> it's not a taunt, it's like actually just like a, yeah, it's just like a massive suction thing. It just pulls you what in. What would it be called? Uh, whirl, whirlpool? Something like that, yeah. Bitcoin going to be trading against Liquid Helium. Definitely can't win this with his ult going off. Nocturne's in the area as well, going to be ulting up onto him. Paranoia has been burned. He's going to be picking up the kill here. Now bot lane, Faithful wants to go aggressive. And they got Bunny low. His so low, his health bar like, wasn't actually there. Yeah, I'm surprised he didn't die. Play. He was pretty close. Yeah. If Trundle used his ult there, she was dead. Or if he smited her. Yeah. I don't know if his smite was up during the fight or not. That's, yeah. And I can check that. His subjugation was up, though. Yeah. Definitely could have gotten the kill. But at least they got uh, a decent shove in. So, should be yeah. pretty good. And now Volder is going to be roaming looking down to dive. bot. Potentially looking for a dive, but there's no minion wave. Makes it a little bit of a rough one to actually go for. But, Grand does. Hmm. Uh, he surprises them. Doesn't get anything done, but he surprises them. TP from the Mundo, that's interesting. I would cancel that. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, they could literally just stand there and be like, you want this? Come get it. Yeah. I'll, I'll stun you and destroy you right yeah, here as you come in. And he doesn't help. have all. He does have his Visage, though, but... Uh, Malkai's getting good push up here. It's, yeah. it's Malkai, so it's not under yeah, immediate. Not a whole lot's going to happen for him. Raider or Love finds his way onto the brand, but they're taking a lot of damage. Already trades the kill over onto the Nocturne. For the Trundle. Now Fox running away. Ult is finally up for the Mundo. He's doing a lot. Thick skin again. Not being able to get used. King D in a bit of a rough spot. May actually go for the dive here. Ari dashes forward. Gets another pickoff onto the brand. Now King D kiting away. Go catch that wave, King D. You need to clear out that wave now, buddy. <laughs> yep. The second that gets there, they dive you. Oh god, don't let it crash. No, don't let it crash. Oh, God. Yep, he's dead. Bad idea. Yep, he's dead. Charm's going to land. Bunny's full health. And that is King D fallen down. Really good play there from Olympic. They are going to get this turf before Maokai. Yeah, they should. But the fight's breaking out, meaning they're not actually getting any damage off Master Fire. Going to be able to finish off one last auto attack. Nice job there. Now Copycat taking damage from the Trundle. Does have the nerfs coming through, so he's not doing as much. But Paranoia back up already. Trundle's going to get caught up, get feared, get killed. And just the non-stop fight. Now Voldor is still here as well. Gets the passive off, doing a lot of damage, but doesn't have his ult. Only needs those one more W. Just does not have the burst combo yet. Bitcoin running for his life. Yeah. Not in a great spot. Didn't even get the tower, sadly. And a little bit of an oversight from Vex to just like stick in the area because Maokai didn't have TP. Uh, Mundo yeah. just TP down. They could have taken advantage of that. Just backed off. Dragon wasn't coming up. There's absolutely nothing that Olympic could have gotten. Besides Vex trying to take a 4v5. Right. Yeah, if Vex just back off there and like just protect the bot lane tower, Olympic doesn't get anything there. Yeah. Except for, uh, I, I don't know, uh, be scared. Right.
Good job there from Olympic. Looks like Trundle's gonna be on the top side. There is an ultimate for the Mundo. Should he desire to use it? Pillar not used quite yet. Does actually just saves the Mundo. But uh forces a flash at least. Mundo all the thing. Yep. What the heck is that Rift Herald? Mid lane? Holy crap. Yeah, I, was, I think it was about to time out. <coughs> they took that real early. Yeah, yeah, he did. Before here, they could potentially... They should be able to get this tower. It's going to go down. In fact, I, I want them to step up yeah. and take the tower before the uh, the charge goes off, but not going to happen. Luckily, it still does a lot of damage on the next charge, so still in a good spot. Don't know if they're going to be able to pressure for two, but... Not feeling bad about where they're at. Oh, not at all. 3k gold, dude. They're happy with that. Yep. It's not going to have a fun time burning through Alistar and Mundo, by any means. Aiza shouldn't have too much of an issue this game. Um, other than, like, Mundo, they don't have any secured CC. Or, uh, okay. Yeah. That was really sad. Kaiser used their ult and didn't even get an assist. Right. Alistar got an assist, I assume just from his passive heal. Probably. But, uh, Liquid Halo is going to be engaged on again. No ult yet. They need to burn him down before it comes up. Finally get the shutdown kill. How that headbutt on land? Uh, don't ask me. Nocturne might actually be in a bit of a bad spot. The ults come out from the brand, doing a lot of damage. Devourer used, but no fix skin means he's going to get out just fine. And they engage under the tower. Double kill for Kaiza. Yeah, they're going way too aggressive for a kill there. Yep. It wasn't really going to mean anything. Alice is just going to face tank this and not give a crap. No, yeah. Olympic are playing the team game. We were talking yesterday about how they're... Uh, Three of their people are in the top five for kill participation. And they're doing pretty well at it this game as well. Most of them having a, a six or seven, a little bit over 50%, which I think is where they're actually hovering on mm -hmm. stats. So keeping up with it. Very team oriented team. <laughs> <laughs> Kai's just sitting on two items now at a Rage Blade. Already scary when she hits the Storm Razor, but just like so much scarier now. It's actually ridiculous. Yeah, Rage Blade's a scary item for Kaiza. Yeah. Yeah, it just synergizes way too well with her passive. Mm -hmm. Her passive is so loaded. It's this on hit damage that stacks. And then it's like an on-hit proc as well. Right. <laughs> it's like, huh? Such on-hit, such wow. It'd be like if Nars W like did magic damage every auto attack, uh, as well oh as God. like popping. And if other people could stack Nars W for him. Right. With just CC, so uh, AKA Alistar gets free stacks for Kaiza. Yeah. Paranoia going to come out. Nobody in sight, though. Still, that happens. Water steps up. They didn't know where they were at. The Bower's in, but I don't think it's going to save him. He does fall. Did get his ult off, but there's just no other damage for Vex. Nothing's coming out from King D. Not enough, at least. Now, Bunny onto the back line. Actually forces a flash out of the Jin. The Bower is going to try and save him as well. While Bitcoin runs, he smashes. He does what he can. But it's still two dead. Well, it's gonna kind of be nice, but yeah, definitely not enough to save Vex right now. <laughs> no, they don't. They don't really have enough consistent damage right now. No, yeah, not at all. Yeah, that, that is kind of the, the downside to having the brand and the gin. So burst heavy. So burst heavy. Lots of upfront damage. Jin, at least now with uh, 
you know, the new IE, doing you know, true damage, getting so many crits out of Stormazer. Jin does a lot better late game than he used to, but you just don't have any consistent DPS to burn through an Alistar and a Mundo. And especially yeah. with the build that Vorder's going with the Rylai's, that's all. Is that no damage? Yeah, that's all peel, man. Like, he needs a Leandris, which I assume is what he's building now. And then on top of that, you need to get a Morellos to stop the Mundo. Um, so that's a yeah, He needs a lot of things right now. I think I would have preferred if he didn't get the Leandris. Or if he didn't get the Rylai's. And he just went Leandris, Morello. Because. Yeah. The Rylai's is nice for doubling the Landry's damage, but one, you gotta get the Landry's for that to work. And two, you've got enough CC that you don't need the Rylai's to be able to proc that double damage on the Landry's, so. Right. Hell, Trundle Pillar in the middle of a team, that's gonna proc it. Mm -hmm. His ult slows Your people ult now. Procs it. Yeah. yeah. So. I just don't see how they really win these fights late game with Mundo and Alistar being a thing. And uh, Kaiza gonna be shredding you through your tanks. Ari's gonna be doing more in a team fight than Brand. Uh, sometimes it really depends on the team fight, but in more she has more use cases in a fight than a Brand does. So <laughs> the coin manages to find the Kaiza. I don't know if you actually win this fight, especially not with Copia coming up. He has a headbutt pull for ice. He's going to go low. Nocturnal used as well. He falls down now. Jupiter? No, that's Adobo. Forced to run as well. Yep. Mundo not one to be toyed with at the present time. No. He is a big purple monster. He's a big boy. All right, here comes the Tom Kench, though. Voldor uses ult just a little bit early. They should be able to pick off the Alistar. Red team's turret has been destroyed. Good pick up. Yeah. Losing mid lane for it, though. Yeah, they they lose a lot. They're going to lose mid. Going to use another Wind Drake. How much can you get for how much are you given? Game of the game. Decks are getting little and given a lot. God, we're not even going to get a break after this. Nope. Unless Vex win this game, this is going to go late. Oh yeah, we're, we're going late today. Yeah. Nocturne finds his way onto the brand. Ari, dashing forward, gets the kill. I just want to start seeing Olympic convert these picks and these kills into bigger objectives. Baron looks like it's on the list. I love me some Hurricane Kaiser. Right? So much damage to so many different people. Yeah. Look, oh, I can stack my passive on everyone. Everyone and everything in sight just dies. Yeah. Really quick. I'm glad Fox didn't flash for that ward. Right. No, no flashes for wards this game. Thankfully. Yep, Charm is going to land, though. That's a nice double knock-up. Lots of damage coming out. The ult onto the Jin Means he's going to have a hard time. Force to flash away, but they're already all on top of him. He's down. So is Adobo. They're going to cleaning this fight up shortly. I don't think Volder can get anything done. Double kill for the Nocturne. Should either be mid inhib or Baron. It looks like they're gonna be going towards the Baron. Window wants kill. Yeah, Mundo definitely wants kill. Should be able to get it. It's at the point where 
definitely wins the 1v1 versus Maokai. Oh, yeah. Uh, even if he wasn't ahead, he would be. Fox might be able to save him. Looks like he will. But uh, Baron picked up for Olympic. Since they've been winning every fight, they can pretty much just walk down mid or top with their 10k gold lead and just kind of destroy a turret. Probably even dive if they play it right. There goes yeah, Jin again. <laughs> There's that bear again. Radar right, Love might trade his life over for it, but actually his stopwatch could stall out long enough for Copycat to get in. Doesn't get the headbutt pulverize, so maybe not. But the charm comes through. Trundle's going to burn down Copycat with a kill. Barely gets oh, no, the kill get onto Nocturne. Didn't quite get his, uh, what's it called? Triumph? Uh, that yes. run that heals you. Yeah, didn't quite get that yet. But here goes the Maokai. So much damage coming out from the Kaiza. And honestly, this wave, three dead. It's going to take a miracle from Voldor and Faithful to try and save this game. Yeah, I don't. I don't see a way for Vex to come back into this game. I hope they don't win the late game. They no. don't. They don't win the late game. They don't win this part of the game. They didn't win the early game. Towers are falling. Baron being put to use, but Vex at the respawn now. Adobo chasing forward. Doesn't have his ult, though. Just going to get immediately burst down. Flash forward from Rastafire picks up the kill. Now King D knocked up, forced to run away. I think they can still try and focus on these towers and get the win. There goes Faithful on the Tom Kent's. Falling down, King D headbutted back into his base. That's going to be Nexus falling. Olympic picking up game two versus Vex. Good game from Olympic again. This is uh, Vex with subs. Not, uh, <laughs> not we expect Olympic. To, I would say I expect Olympic to win the next game, assuming they have the same. Uh, oh yeah. The same lineup. Yeah. Dude, it was close game one. It was a close game one. That's why they put in subs. I'm like, what are you doing? He barely won the first game. Um, really good game from Olympic. No, Olympic played really well, though. Master Fire popping off. I feel like they've got a really good bot lane mix between Wizard and Master Fire, depending on what they want to play. Yeah. Both of them, very, very good AD carries. Um, what are you thinking for MVP that game? I'd say Bunnies. You think Bunny? I think Bunny did pretty well. Yeah, I could agree. I would say Bunny or Rated. Yeah, either either one of them would be okay. I I personally think Bunny did more. Um, yeah, Nocturne, Nocturne was doing things, but I I think Bunny was landing a crazy amount of charms and just doing very well in every single fight, positioning wise. Yeah, I agree. Bunny MVP of the game too. Yo, there's a hummingbird like right outside my window, like staring at me. Yeah. how's that going? Oh, he left. The second oh. I looked at him, he was like, "Oh God." I've been spotted. <laughs> the ruse is up. <laughs> All right, let's try and get this rolling as fast as possible since we're uh, going to be running late. Yep, unless this is a real quick game, I'm sure we'll be late to last or the last set, just like we were to this one. Yep. All right. Hopefully we can get into this fairly quick. Looks like they're probably going to be running the same lineup. <laughs> 